um, the I kind of work opposite from most people where I try to get a canvas full of uh, rich color and harmonious color and then I develop the shapes after I have that color. It's kind of like getting the cattle first and then you get them into the corral. You know, you, so uh, that's why I, I'm giving myself a little bit of shape here, but I'll just, I'll end up on, and uh, I'll cover all these and get harmonious color, beautiful color in the correct value. And then at the end, I'll try to cut those, uh, cut those masses into interesting silhouettes. So uh, shapes and masses are a lot like, uh, if, if you establish the shapes first, I find that just like a big old boulder that falls off of a cliff on a mountain, you know, at first it's got, it's rag, jagged, has dynamic shape to it, but then after a thousand years of uh, weather and freezing, it, it erodes and turns into this monotonous uh, river rock. So, so the same thing happens to shapes. You get a good shape and you knock a corner off here and you bump it out there and then pretty soon there's just all these clouds floating around and cotton balls and teepees and lollipops for trees. So, so it's uh, that my process is get beautiful color and then <clears throat> try to reestablish some of these uh, dynamic shapes. And when I, when I say dynamic, my definition of that is unequal because it's like unequal with order. Let me see. It's like God gave us all a, the perspective on our faces. The proportions are all the same, but I could, I can tell Micah from seven billion other people, yet the proportions are all the same. So there's that, there's that order and the, the unity, but then there's the diversity that allows, uh, allows for interest. So it's the same thing in my painting, that the dynamic shape has unity and the diversity. It has the variety in with it too. What was the question? <laughs> the old beat. I got um, <clears throat> some juice out. Wipe. <clears throat> I'm going to wipe that. And give me uh, yellow. Let's do Viridian also.